The Madam Walker Legacy Center will host its third annual Legacy Fest this weekend. It's in celebration of Juneteenth and Black Music Month, all while honoring 97 years of the Walker Building. That's right. This historic place was once a manufacturing plant for Walker's hair care and beauty products. Now it'll be a stage for live music and DJs. Now here to talk about this year's event is Legacy Center President Christian Strickland. And welcome. And Elena Renee. Elena Renee. See, I got Felicia Michelle and Elena Renee. Okay. <laughs> we're friends. Oh, right. we're, we're both besties. We're, we're, <laughs> we're besties now. Can we talk about this this year? What's going to be different about this year's event that maybe they haven't expected from the past? Yeah. So this year we are. Are, um, we're looking to be a little bit more experiential than we have been in the past. Um, so it's not a sit down dinner and then moving into the concert. So it is all kinds of activations that are going on inside the building and outside the building for from 6 to 8 p.m. And then we go in for the wonderful concert and then after there is a, an after party. Um, that will take place. So it's fun all okay, day. Okay, all right. It's After party. Day. Yes. What I love too is it, it quickly goes from one day of fun to two yes. days of a lot of fun That's and right. tons of performances happening on Saturday as well. Uh, right, yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. So the block party is our give back to the community. So what I like to say is, is on Friday we highlight our legends. Saturday is all about the legends in the making. So it's taking everything back to the avenue. And that's where the legends have always been made here in Indianapolis um, and the way that we celebrate black music. So it's all local artists on Saturday. Um, and on Friday, there's Voice to Men and the wonderful Jay Soul. Yeah. So, yes. I'm, I'm pumped. Okay, yes. like you said, you have boys to men on hand to celebrate. Um, some of the other performers who are hitting the stage this weekend, you want to talk about some of them? Well, of course, J Soul is um, <laughs> Elena Renee. Um, we have Forecast, we have Downstroke, uh, we have. Um, Muffy skates, so it's not just performers. There's there's all kinds of activations that are going on. There's a um, kid zone. Um, we all we still have our grown folks zone, so it's yes. a safe. Yes. Grown folks. <laughs> That's That's necessary. That's necessary. It is necessary. so necessary. Right. Right. It is so necessary. But yeah, as I said, it's 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 a great time. Um, all in honor of Black Music Month on the Avenue. How excited are you to perform? Because you you have an amazing energy, by the way. I just want to let you know that. As soon as you walked in, like, like beelined right to you. Well, first, this is me all the time. I was going to say, I am super <laughs> 25, excited. 25, 8. Yeah. Absolutely. So, J Soul um, consists of myself, um, my sister, uh, Steph, uh, Stacey McCracken, and Stephanie Allen Stevenson. And we sing, the J Soul came from, because we sing with Jim Ursay, the Jim Ursay Collection Band. And uh, so that's the J, and we are the soul. And uh, so I'm super excited about it. I mean, it's boys to men. Yeah, right? Yes. That's, I, an, that's it. They it's hold a special place in my heart because yeah. they're from the same similar area I love. But who don't know a Boys to Men song? No, Close seriously. your eyes. That's right. Why make a wish? Can y'all watch and wish? Yeah. Hey, that was <laughs> I see what you did there. No, I see what you did there. Yes. I like it. Yes. I, I am curious your take on getting to perform. When we talk about the history of Indiana Avenue and and the massive stars that were, that, I mean that was that was it. That was the party scene. It was that was the place to be. And now you're going to be performing in that same area with that history. That has to be amazing. I mean, just it's worth a Madam Walker building, and you know how important that is to here. That is that is that's our crown. That's so it starts there, and that's our culture. And then to be on stage with some living icons it's it's amazing so i'm grateful for the opportunity and i can speak for my sisters we're just grateful for the opportunity it's something that i cannot even put into words it's just a feeling amazing and people are going to be so excited i told them like <laughs> i had no other choice like when it came to my opening act when we booked boys to men i only had jay solomon she is amazing she's been with us in some capacity every single year um and so I, I know that people are going to be very, very pleased with this entire show. We know that this is obviously a big party, but there's more to this as well. 97 years we mentioned, the Madam Walker Legacy Center being there, the work that you guys are, are doing there and making it the staple point of Indianapolis and downtown. And this is just more of that, right? It absolutely is. It's really just taking our place back, you yeah. know. Um, it's what we have always been the heart of black culture here in Indianapolis and um, you know I'm, I'm just really grateful for the opportunity to be able to continue to uplift Madam's legacy um, and create a new one yeah. so we are we're just really excited to do it it's our 
It is our signature fundraiser. I'd be remiss if I didn't say yeah. it is a fundraiser so that we can continue to do, you know, like the wonderful shows like this, but also the year round programming that is another give back to the community. So, um, you know, give. <laughs> yeah, 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 and that is important yeah. because that helps bring in these acts like. Yes. Boys to Men, Absolutely. Gladys Knight, obviously yes, the year before. Yes, I mean, yes. those people, though they love to come and perform here, they love the history of the building as well. And I think that's what makes it so easy sometimes to get those acts here. Yeah, they. Um, I, the, I don't want to say easy because I know you work your tail off to make well, those happen. But well, yeah, but <laughs> the, the legacy um, is something. But it is the legacy. Say, yeah. yeah, it's something where people are really excited to hear when you say Madam C. J. Walker's name. Um, there is a level of respect there. Um, you know, every single time when people walk in that building, they say, wow, this is like the Apollo. Um, and we're older. Yeah, yeah which is crazy, it's, too. It's yeah. so crazy. But, you know, we, um, we're just trying to, you know, to make sure, like, that we have something for the next generation and that they can continue this. I want my son, you know, and all of his family to be able to, they should be able to step up and they should be the next board members, the next, you know, Madam President, you know, to, to continue to keep this going. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I know another thing too, y'all better come dressed to impress us. I was That's looking right. at those pictures yep. and I was like, Woo, sharp as a tack. Oh my God. <laughs> gotta, gotta look right. And we are actually inducting Boyce Men on the Walk of Fame. Love it. Wow. Yeah, that was awesome. oh, congratulations. Yeah. That is yes. awesome. That is beautiful. Okay, listen, the Legacy Fest will take place on Friday and Saturday on Friday. There's that gala that you saw. Gala, gala, how y'all say, say it? it? Just come <laughs> looking, <laughs> looking <laughs> right, right? And then on Saturday, there's going to be that free block party to give back to the community. All those details are going to be on Indi allindiana.tv. Thank you both so much. Thank you, so Thank much. you for having Have us. fun because you work you. so hard on this each Thank year. You. Enjoy it.